Hello! So today I thought I would film a little video where I could give you a little demo of the differences between putting on a cloth nappy and fitting it properly so you don't get any leaks and it's comfortable for baby um, and disposable because if you've been using disposables previously um, and then you switch to cloth the way that you put them on and fit them is quite different um, so yeah it's helpful it's helpful when you're switching over I guess to know how to do it otherwise you're inevitably gonna get leaks and it's gonna seem harder than it is when really it's very easy um, so so yeah, little river here is being our model. Um, he's been in cloth since day dot, but these are literally just um, to cover his modesty. Basically, these tiny baby pants, um, because nobody wants a Rudy Nudy boy on their YouTube, do they? We're hoping that he's not going to just wee through these, but that might make a fun outtake. So. Um, if you are new to cloth and you have been used to disposable nappies like these, um, I just wanted to go through um, some of the differences in fit between the two. So, if you're going to pop a disposable on, you would unfold it like so, and then take baby and slide it as far back as you can, all the way up his back. Pull it around his legs as high up as you can, and then fasten, and then there we have a disposable nap. So, um, when you're new to cloth, and we were obviously when we had River, he's our first baby, um, and I have had experience of changing nappies before, but only ever used disposables. Um, yeah, so I originally started fitting cloth nappies like this one. Um, this one's a Bambino Mayo. It is Velcro closure, just like a disposable, um, and it's a pocket nappy, so the absorber bit is all tucked in here. I'm going to do a little run through of all the different nappy types and what we we'll use in a different video. Um, but yeah, this is a Bambino Mayo, and when we first had River, I was putting things on as if they were um, a disposable nappy, and I wasn't quite getting the, the right fit, and I was having leaks and things like that, and I couldn't really understand what was going wrong. So I, uh, yeah, discovered through some lovely cloth nappy groups how to put them on properly. So if you're popping a cloth nappy on, it goes on really quite differently to a disposable. You don't stick it all the way up here and then pull it up, because obviously that then makes it look like it's way too small for chubbins over here. So what you want to do is lift his little leggies up and pop it so that it's just, literally just under his bottom and it kind of looks like it's hanging off and it's going to be nowhere near enough um, and then, <laughs> if he'll cooperate, butterfly his little leggies out pull it up through there, it looks like it's really high at the front and low at the back but it's really important to get it right into the creases all of his rolls here, but get it right into the leg crease as, as close as you can pull it up at the corner little handy out the way and then this is the important part for fit you pull it back like this and around the thighs and over and on and the same again get it nice and close in the crease side note if you have a little boy one thing that's really important with any nappy but cloth especially is to point their little willy downwards um, as you put the nappy on because otherwise you're going to get Wheeze out the leg hole or wheeze up the top or all over the place and you don't want that. So anyway, on to the second side. Again into the crease, pull it up again as high as you can and pull this one up and over like this and there you have it. Make sure that your, if you have poppered rises like this, this one's on the smallest setting still, are pointing, fingers pointing up so you tuck all the extra material upwards like these. And then, just to get it to fit nicely, you hoik it up a little bit at the back so that it's nice and neat and not too bulky between his leggies. And then the actual rise of the nappy ends up being fairly similar to a disposable. Oh dear, are you getting fed up with my demo? Are you? No, you're being very good. Um, yeah, and then it sits right here. So this looseness around the tummy is what you want. You don't want it to be super tight and you won't get leaks, this is normal. So yeah, have it nice and loose here um, because when he sits up, are you gonna sit up for me? One, two, three, wee! Um, yeah, it, as you can see, it gives a little bit of a muffin top there but you don't want it to be so tight that it's cutting off his blood circulation to you or uncomfortable on that tum. Back down, wee! 
Um, so yeah, so that fits nicely. You don't want it too tight around the sides or around his tummy, but what is important is that it fits really snugly here around his legs, because if it doesn't, that's where you're going to get leakages. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Nice fitting nap. Thanks, River. Hmm. <laughs>